Alright guys, we're back. Um, we're about to go over the information that you're going to find on your map. and It's pretty useful and it's about to get a lot harder probably for me to explain than you to understand than it actually is to do it. But uh, we're going to get at it, so stay with me. We'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. As I said in uh, one of the other videos, this maps of Mount Greylock, which is in Western Math. Western Mass. North Adams is just the name of one of the cities that is on this map here. Underneath that you have a map ID number which is good as we move down on the right over here. I'll show you where that comes into play. I ordered this map specific for me so that's why it come the way that it did and I got it. It was printed August 12, 2009 for me, Sergeant Farrier. I thought it was cool, I guess that's why I put that there. And I got it from my topo off the internet. And right here. And you're gonna find this all this information on most maps. Um, what you're looking at right here is different map sheets. So these are labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So these are all different map sheets you can get of the area. Like I said, I have this one custom made for me. So that's being depicted in that red square that you see. So my map actually has a little bit of all five maps inside of it because I had it centered on Mount Greylock. All right, right underneath that. Good to know information. Um, again, the numbers 1 through 5 is the map ID number. The date that these were taken and the contour interval, which has to do with your contour lines and the difference in elevation between each. So you can see on the top, number 1, Berlin, it was 6 meters is the difference between each contour line. The next two are 20 feet. And I'm no math guru, but I would say 6 meters is pretty close to 20 feet. So I'm going to call that all the same. Alright, where you're going to find these usually, especially on a military map, <clears throat> go back up to the top. All this is on the right hand column of my map, but the name is usually going to be on the top either center or top left hand corner of the map usually Moving back down the adjoining sheets that's pretty much on the right spot it's going to be off on your right hand column somewhere and that's good to know uh, adjoining sheets if, if I had run off the edge of my map here and I was trying to get way down here, I would know I need to order map sheet number 5 so I can have all that information in that map to further uh, do land navigation. So, pretty key information there. The next thing I'm going to come to, one of the most important things on your map as far as land nav goes, is the declamation diagram. You can see you've got MN to the left right here and that's showing 15 degrees. So MN, let's see if I can zoom in a little for you. MN stands for magnetic north. So that's what your compass is going to give you. The GN right in the center is grid north or map north. So all your grid lines on your map that run north and south is grid north. In every topographical map, the top of your map represents grid north. The little TN to the right, and it's showing one degree, is exactly that. It's one degree different between true north and grid north on this particular map. And 
every every map is going to be different same thing with magnetic north so the difference between my map and my which is grid north and my compass is going to be 15 degrees